Hi, my name is Daniel Farrell. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Overland Park Orthopedics. I'd like to show you the technology used to make the cuts to place a implant on the ends of the bone. We talked earlier about resurfacing the end of the bone and with the computer assisted surgery we'll place this component on the ends of the bone with the use of the navigation system. Basically we want to reshape the ends of this bone in order to place a femoral component on the end of it. And our first cut we're looking at is the distal femoral cut. And we can see the computer is asking us to place it in two degrees of flexion and zero degrees of varus and valgus, which I'm working on getting that down to a half a degree. That is infinitely small movements with my hand to change that cutting block and a half a degree. I cannot see that. And once I take what the mechanical alignment is, and then place the cutting block exactly where the computer is asking me, the post-operative x-rays are no surprise. They're always the same. I know it's accurate. This is a part of the computer-assisted surgery that um, navigates the knee to the point where it determines the size, the appropriate size of the femoral component. As you can see, when we're in flexion, we actually can measure the flexion gap, and as we go into extension, we can measure the extension gap. And those two gaps are very important to match after the components in, that they become measured 19 millimeters in extension and 19 millimeters in flexion. That allows you to gain all of your flexion that you need so the knee doesn't become tight, the ligaments don't tighten as you go to flexion. That the ligaments stay the same distance from the epicondyles to where it's inserted on the tibia and then on the fibula, that through extension and flexion, that it's isokinetic all the way through the range of motion, that the tension remains the same. We can measure those parameters with computer-assisted surgery. As you can see on this, on this uh, uh, slide, we see the optimum implant size and the computer goes through a seven-step algorithm to decide what size of implant that we place on the distal femur. It always chooses the smaller implant, the smallest appropriately sized implant that will go on the distal femur, which matches with the tibia.